then the fact of the matter is this one looks much more confusing um, than, it really, than it really is. The main important thing, guys, of a piecewise function, um, it still has the name function, right? So we have an input, we have output, OK? So please try to remember that when you're looking at something like this. If we're talking about functions, we know we can plug something in and we can get something out. Now, this looks much more confusing than over here, right? So why is it much more confusing besides the fact that you see that there's now two and you have now some inequalities? Well, our piecewise function is basically a function that utilizes two or more functions within its function. So basically, you can see is here's my function. Now this function is separated by two different rules. So instead of just having one rule, I now have two rules. Well, when do you use which rule? It depends on what your input is. When the input is less than 1, you use this rule. When the input is greater than or equal to 1, you use this rule. Okay? So basically, a piecewise function is saying, hey, I have more than one rule. So when certain things are like this, you use that rule. When certain things are like that, use the other rule. Does that kind of make sense? Kind of? I had an idea. It doesn't really go with math, but I'll say it after, after I go to this. So let's go ahead and look at f of negative 2. All right, f of negative 2. Well, we got to go to our constraints. Negative 2 is obviously less than 1. So I have to use this rule. So therefore, I plug in negative 2 plus 3 divided by 2. Well, negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. Okay. If I do f of 0, f of 0 is, again, less than 1. So we plug it in for this rule. 0 plus 3 divided by 2 equals 3 halves. And then for the last one, f of 1. Now my input is not less than 1, but it's greater than or equal to 1. So therefore, I need to use this rule. Do you guys see why I have to use the other rule? So therefore, this becomes 1 squared plus 5. 1 squared is 1 plus 5 is 6. And that's it. Okay, So all a piecewise function, it looks crazy. But all it is is just a combination of two or more functions.